Fido has a habit of making developer jobs easier. One of the ways they do it is with the animated sprite 2D. With the node animated sprite, it's easier to make nodes like bullets, pickups like coins, or just fly by birds. So let's get into it. Okay, so I went ahead and set up a simple environment with a character that has a script with the default script of making the character move left and right. So got the little character, he can jump as well. So that's, that's the default script. Let's go ahead and see how we can make a animated sprite. So let's go ahead and close those up over here. I'm going to create a new node, add child node. I've been animated. Sprite, we're going to select animated sprite 2D. Okay. And here it says we need a frames property. So if we look at the animation here under sprite frames, right click, new sprite frames. We click that. And you see down here, we already have an animation set up under default. Now I want to itch.io and download the Pixel Adventure. The link will be in the description to the itch.io. If we look at the fruits, double click that. We can see here there is a animation sprite sheet. But if you look at tile map, if we try to drag it on, it happens all at once. So let's go ahead and remove that. This is a little grid icon. We can say add frames from sprite sheet, like that. And let's go to that particular sprite sheet. Fruits. Apple. Open. And you'll see here little grid boxes already. So we just have to line up the proper ones. So in 17, we can put 17 in the horizontal. And we're going to put one on the vertical. And then we're going to select what we want to import. I'm going to go ahead and select them all in order. Add frames. Moving this object down so we can see it. Zoom in on it. We'll go ahead and hit play on that. Good. Well, we can see in the first frame here, they're all the same. So let's go ahead and pause that. And just go ahead and remove each one. Now let's see what it looks like. All right, so we can also increase the frames per second. I'm going to increase this to 10. There we go. Now we have a bouncing apple. As well, I can also see that I have multiple frames of the same one. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. There we go. Now, let's say we only want this to animate when we walk by it. And for that, let's go ahead and create another animated 2D. Create. We'll go ahead and create a new sprite sheet. If we go to the trap section here. In say fire, click the sprite frames. So let's rename this to off. We'll just put one PNG in there. 
You can see it's off. Let's go ahead and add another animation or on. So we do the same thing again. Select the sprite sheet. Go to the traps. Fire and select the on section. Click open. All right, so we want one and three. So we'll want a three in a horizontal and one in vertical. Then we're going to select each one. And we'll hit play. We'll make it a little faster too. Now we have an off and an on. I'll go ahead and remove this one. We don't need it. Here, go ahead and add a child node. We'll say area create and a child node a Collision 2D, Shape 2D. And let's go ahead and give this shape a sphere. Either shape is fine, just make it bigger. Let's go ahead and rename this to Torch. And add a script. And create those two funk torch on and we'll go ahead and drag in the animated sprite torch dot play and we'll select on we'll also add in a torch off and we'll drag it in torch dot play off now we select the area 2d go to node signals and what we'll do is select on body entered so the character body when it enters it will turn us on so Select the Torch Animated Sprite and click Connect. And here we'll turn the torch on. We'll double click Body Exit. Select the torch, hit Connect. And we'll turn the torch off. Okay, let's try it out. You can see when I enter, it turns on. But you notice that it was automatically defaulting to on? Let's check to see what it is. In our script, we can select and put a breakpoint. Let's try that again. Ah, it's being triggered by a collider. Continue. So, if we look at our scene, the scene that I set up has an area and it has a rigid body attached already. Let's fix this. I will select my character body in groups and add him to the player group. Go to scripts, 
And here we'll go if body dot is in group player turn on. And let's do the same thing with turning off. Now let's see if the animated sprite turns on when I move my character closer. Look at that, it does. If you also notice, the apple is not animating. Let's check see what it is. Select the, I'll select my animated Sprite 2D for the apple. And underneath animations, it says auto load on play. Select that. So when you hit play, you'll see the apple start animating. Animated Sprite 2D also has several signals that's very useful. Animation changed, finished, looped, or frame changed, or sprite frames changed are useful since they don't have an animation keyframe to insert methods or other uses. Let's take animation looped, for example, and see how that can be used. Let's say I want my torch to be turned off after several iterations. So we'll go to its script. Select it here. Double click, go to signals. Double click the animation loop. Select the torch and connect. Let's add a variable. Torch loop count equals zero. Let's make sure that's an int. Let's add a export variable max loop count Put that in int equals five. Now, what we'll do is we'll check to see what the current animation is. But animation equals equals. On. And. Torch loop count is greater than or equal to max loop count. We'll go ahead and say torch off. And reset the torch loop count to zero. Then we'll say else if the animation equals on porch loop plus equals one. Let's see if that works. And see, it turns off automatically. Exit, go back in. There we go. We could also set up the script to where the animation finishes. You just have to make sure the animation is not in a loop. I went ahead and pre-made a fan animated sprite 
Let's take a look at its sprite frame. As you can see down here in the left hand corner, it says animation looping. We'll go ahead and turn that off. If you notice I select the off, it's already in looping. I'm going to leave that one there for now. I am going to go over to the animated sprite 2D, look at the animation, animation again, and leave it on. I'm also going to add a script to the fan. Create. And set up the same thing. But when a character body enters, so I'm going to add an area 2D. At a collider shape, at a collision shape, at any shape, make sure it's big enough. Go to its node, select area 2D. Double click body entered and connect to the fan script. I want to make sure the body is in group of the player. If it is, I'll have the fan. Play on. Then I'll select the animated sprite and select animation finished. And connect back to the same script on animation finished. Then I will select the bat. And say play. Idle. Now we'll go ahead and turn the bat's autoplay off. And turn its looping off. Let's see how this works. Porch tour turns on. Look at that. The fan turns and then it triggers the bat. Good. Let me know what you would use the animated sprite for. Put it in the comments below. Thank you.